In 1979, I built the world's largest privately owned windmill at Dorney Park Amusement Park next to my underground home, and we pulled the roller coasters up the hill. This video is from ABC World News in 1979 and the future technology. Other businesses have found alternatives to oil, as Roger Peterson explained last night in his special assignment series, Energy Alternatives Beating OPEC Now. Well, tonight in part two of the series, Roger has more examples of American ingenuity at work to save energy in some rather unusual ways. Dorney Park's machinery has been tickling stomachs and putting smiles on faces since 1884. Thrill rides, once driven by steam, now run electrically. The electricity used here in a year would light one million homes for a year. With the lights climbing, the family that runs the park decided a little over a year ago to put in a wind-powered generator. Now they get almost 20% of their power from the wind. That saves about $10,000 a year, according to co-owner and advertising manager Bob Plar. We hope to be self-sufficient within six years in this park. We don't have to rely on anybody but our own power sources. You have to look at it selfishly. If you do something for yourself, and everybody in the country does something for themselves, they'll solve the energy crisis. 25 years later, at Angel's Nest, started construction in 2002 with the most advanced technology in the world, a fully sustainable home with wind, solar, hydrogen, and all the sustainable technologies. Energy independence is sustainable freedom. Freedom from foreign oil, freedom from complacency, freedom from unpotable water, freedom from blackouts when an electric line or a hurricane destroys whole villages and whole states. With this kind of building, you need none of that. We produce our own energy, recycle our own waste, grow our own food, fuel our own vehicles, and do our own health care. That's sustainable freedom. <laughs> There's something revolving Wherever may come The world keeps revolving They say the next big thing is here That the revolution's near But to me it seems quite clear That it's all just a little bit of history repeating our solar and wind energy in here and we can read at any one time how much power is being generated and where it's being put and how it's being used. The panels here produce approximately 10 kilowatts of power. It takes 2 kilowatts to split water to make hydrogen. So we store hydrogen. It is the new battery system that goes through a plastic fuel cell and fuels our vehicles and our home. That is energy independent. That is sustainable freedom. the water from the roof and when we shower it goes in the gray water cell and that gives us water to flush the toilet with which goes in the black water cell at the end of the day at the end of the cycle there's nothing left for septic or sewage it's harvested four times just like man should be doing and if everyone in the world did what this building did there wouldn't be one drop of pollution to enjoy woman man girl and boy feel the pain feel the joy the little bits of history repeating. We romance and dance with the plants here because we give them carbon dioxide and acid from our body. They give us oxygen, medicine, food as their waste. It's a perfect marriage. It's a symphony orchestra. Music 